They come from around the world. Year after year, Isabel Guggenheim brings her wearable art. I just love the people in the fair. I love when they come to the booth and make them happy. I like to dress them, you know, and, and I think it's a really nice exchange between, you know, people that love art and artists. Tadis Rajus captures the Windy City in all its glory. I like to share a lot of these and it makes me so happy when people purchase and they have at home and it makes me smile and hopefully we smile all the time too. The Gold Coast Art Fair, which now calls Grant Park Home, featured the work of more than 200 artists, paintings, sculptures, jewelry. Diversity, artists and buyers say, is what makes this fair so special. If you're looking for either a piece of your past, a, a, a somewhere you went that you loved, or something you want to be. But it's something in you has to touch something inside of you, and that's it's, so it's possibility everywhere you look. This year, admission fees benefited the Chicago Furniture Bank. Founded by a group of college students, the organization gives donated furniture to families transitioning from shelters. For every piece with a green ribbon that sold, 10% of the sale went to the furniture bank. And people attending the fair also donated artwork from their own homes. Because these people don't just deserve secondhand stuff, they deserve dignity and quality items. And so yeah, when you come in and you find a piece of art that you love and you identify with, it does much more to turn that house into a home. Gold Coast Art Fair, 65 years of a Chicago tradition. In Grant Park, Judy Wang, WGN News.